Hey, my beautiful friends, it's your friend Kevin. Today is Sunday, the 2nd of July, 2023, and this is your card of the day. All right, so we're going to select a different deck today because it is a Sunday beginning of the week, at least. I think Sunday's the beginning of the week for me. Uh, I'm choosing Fairy Tarot Cards by Radley Valentine, illustrations by Howard David Johnson. And I'm also going to select a card of the week, an Archangel card or a Major Arcana card of the week. Here's what happened. The last three weeks we've had the Chariot and Archangel Metatron, and I went with all of it. So this time I've shuffled the cards inside, outside, backwards and upside down, splitting up into different piles and putting them back together. And then I took the date, today's date, um, which happens to come up to a number seven. If I add seven plus one plus two, there's no zero, plus two plus three, I get 16 and then one and six comes down to a seven. So the number seven for today's energy is the energy of magic that's surrounding all of us. So uh, that in itself is saying um, to um, align ourselves with that magical energy, to bring that magical energy, to think of things in our highest good, things that we want to manifest and bring in. So now I'm going to count out seven cards. This is the seventh here. So I'll put the rest of them up there. And I'm going to turn this one over. It's the sun. Oof. So now this is just quite lovely. We have the number seven for today's energy. And we've got the sun, which is 19, that adds up to a two. Uh, and Archangel Uriel. Uh, now, if this had been Raziel, I would have said, gosh, that's magic and mis uh, mystery. But the sun card in everything that we do this week is talking about happy outcomes, brilliant new ideas, the lead to successful manifestations. And we've got to have confidence in ourselves. We have to bring in that light of the sun, bring in that joy, bring in that energy and bring us the confidence that we need to strive forward. Now I'm going to shuffle and see what card of the day goes with this. So, fairies from all four corners and all realms, light workers, ascended masters, magicians, all of those that work with the sun's energy. There's that one. Uh, I welcome you to this space. Whoops, and then there's that one. I give humble thanks for this reading and set the intention that, to see, to feel, to hear, and to know that your sacred words of spirit uh, enlighten, inspire, and heal. So be it, so shall it be. Now, I'm not being told to pull any more cards from this, just to use those two in combination with the sun. So I'll go with it. Turn them over the way they fell out. Well, how is this even possible? <laughs> I mean, I love you, angels and fairies. You're just... You just light me up with this. Okay, so I just got through saying today was a number seven. And here we've got number seven, the chariot. Um, success that comes from dedication, self-discipline, celebrating your accomplishments. We've had this going on for two or three weeks. Um, except this is not necessarily Archangel Metatron. We've got a woman charioteer here. Um a fey girl, uh, looks like a movie star. Look how gorgeous that is. I'd say move forward, keep going. That's what this is reminding us all through the challenges, through the tears, through the woes, uh, all of that lift up. Lift up your eyes, lift up your heart, lift up your intentions, lift up your goals and move forward. You have to have confidence that all 
that was not good, that, we, that you perceive as not being good, has moved behind you. You know, when you think about something that moves very quickly, a chariot, a car, a vehicle, whatever that is, it goes so quickly, it kicks up dust, it kicks up a uh, whoosh forward. This is that energy, the upbeat energy. Now, what's going on today? What's, what's likely going to be presented to you today? And we've got the Queen of Spring. The energy of a brilliant, loyal, and quite talented friend. And I'm going to pull this up a little bit further. So here we see the Queen of Spring just sitting in her opulence. Beautiful, um, claret-colored outfit. Holding a magic wand right there. Uh, I'd say this represents the fairy godmother. Believe in yourself. Wonderful people want to help you. Maintain a balance between work and home life. So when we look at the sun and we look at the queen of spring, the bringer of all gifts and all uh, things that we want, plus the chariot, I'd say that there is nothing that you cannot accomplish and cannot do. Um, I love these cards. You've got two major arcana flanking a brilliant, um, loyal, talented card in the middle. What I'm being told to tell you is don't discount your... Um, creative abilities um, line yourself up with people that can open those doors for you there's enough woe is me i can't do this I can't do that there's enough of the lack the feeling of lack particularly among our um, folks in power they're losing the power people have heard it all before they've done it all before what's happening is we're moving into a stronger, more resilient community type of consciousness. Um, people are working together side by side, not competing with each other. People are wanting to help other people in ways they've never done it before. People are looking to collaborate somebody else's success, not push them out of the way to get ahead. There's still some of that. There always will be. We have to, uh, uh, we have to sort of balance out the not so good in order to appreciate the good. There has to be the opposite or the opposing forces that get us to see, feel, and believe um, something's brighter coming. The one thing I want to say to you, that this number seven, this magic and this energy, plus all these other cards, it's like you can't do any wrong. Um, I want to check in, though, with the Queen of Spring, from the guidebook here because I, I just want to make sure that I am not uh, leading you somewhere. I, I'm not. I, I want to make sure I get this right because this is this this Queen of Spring is pretty important today. Um, it's all about showing grace under fire and maintaining balance between your work and your home, which is what we've said. It's about being a good leader, not just a leader. It's, it's sort of like put your ego in the pocket and bring out the voice of love and joy. Um, the Queen of Spring is truly amazing. She can write up a marketing plan, throw a birthday party, uh, volunteer for a local animal shelter. Uh, there's nothing she can't do. And she dresses up for formal occasions. This is why she's got this whole opulent outfit on. And yet her most endearing attribute is that she is really a true and loyal, kind, loving friend. That's you. That's the energy of today. Where are your loyalties? Where's your kindness? And where are you being a friend, not only to yourself, but a friend to other people? She is going to be there for you and everybody else, no matter what. Uh, that's why everyone loves her. So she can also be a fierce competitor and pretty independent. She likes to have things her own way. And chances are that she, that you'll agree with her ideas, but only, uh, well, anyway, but only if you're not in a challenging position, not, not if you're challenging um, 
her abilities because this 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 queen of spring woman is um what there we go uh i'd say she's a force to be reckoned with really truly with archangel uriel as the sun card for the week i don't know that there could be any brighter look ahead i was thinking this morning while i was meditating you know we talk about folks being glass half full and glass half empty and I was trying to feel like, well, why is that? Does that have to be a defining moment? It's 50%. But one person's 50% could be another person's 100%. But could be another person's 10%. It's all really in how you look at it. And how you look at today's energy, you have the sun's energy. I mean, the sun, that planet that we sometimes take for granted, does not send you an electric light bill does not say, I need for you to pay me back for all the trees I've grown for you and the vegetables I've, I've, I've helped you with, the photosynthesis, as they call it. It's pretty brilliant. Get in that mode today. Get creative. Be a loyal friend if you need to be a loyal friend. And move forward with that. I feel like once you lift that energy up, you lift your vibration up, you... Uh, stop looking at can't afford it. It's too much money, too expensive. Uh, blah 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 blah. Woo. Bye bye. Next. <laughs> Realize how valuable you are, how brilliant you are, how unbelievable you are. You're on the planet, both feet on the ground, grounded, head up to the heavens. You could want nothing but good for you and everyone else. Until tomorrow. Lots of love. Thanks for liking, subscribing, commenting, doing all those things. Bye.